Hey YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and today we're taking a look at the Black Diamond 3D Ambience iPhone dock. This is made by Yan Touch. This will be going on sale in the Apple Store this March. In fact, you can see up here, this is the logo for Made for iPhone. Now this is very nice packaging. This has sort of this foil, uh, multi-color packaging. Uh, again, this is the uh, Yan Touch brand right here. And again, Made for iPhone Black Diamond. On the back, we have some information about it. We can see that it is compatible with all generations of iPhone. So the original iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, and the iPhone 4. Of course, this works with all the iPhone 4, so both Verizon and AT&T. Now, you will have to install an app in order to use this ambient light dock, and I'll show you how that works once we get it together. In the box, we get the 3D Ambience iPhone dock, dock connector to USB cable, and a user guide. And we have some of the product features listed, so let's go ahead and get this out of its package to show you how this works. So you just pull the sleeve off. So we have a USB cable, we have a mini USB and a standard USB connection. Looks like we have the user's guide. And here we have the dock itself. Just got to peel the plastic off. There you go, it's pretty neat looking. Now taking a very close look at the dock, we can actually see it's sort of a two-piece design. Uh, on the front is this sort of crystal translucent material on the front, so it looks like a diamond. And on the back you have this black dome. On the back we have the serial number and the USB connector. This allows you to charge or sync your iPhone as well as an audio connector so you can connect a speaker. Now on the bottom we have the non-skid rubber foot with these two cutouts. One is for the speaker and one is for the microphone. So this allows the speaker and microphone to work through the dock. Since the dock is enclosed, this is an important feature. Uh, Yantouch claims that uh, this outlet boost speaker performance by two and a half times. I'm not sure. We'll test that out. And we have the Yan Touch logo. And that's all there is to it. It doesn't come off or anything like that. Now if you look down into the dock, you can see the 30 pin connector down there. Uh, in fact, there is a blue light down here by the connector. So if you plug this into the USB connector, you'll see it light up. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've connected the USB to my iMac in this case. You can connect this to a USB power uh, adapter on a wall outlet. And you can see the blue light next to the dock. So this helps you to find the dock when you're slotting the iPhone in. And inside they have painted the interior so that when light passes through it, it diffuses. And so the idea is when you install your iPhone and use the Yan Touch Black Diamond app, it actually uh, projects onto the sphere and gives a very neat lighting effect. So let's go ahead and install the app. So I got it already loaded, Black Diamond, it's free. Free install. So the app gives us several lighting effects. You can do plasma, breath, rainbow, lighting, flames, etc. So let's just go to plasma. So that's the plasma design. All we need to do now is drop this into the dock. And there you go. So let me go ahead and turn off the light so you can see the effect. Now this will work without being attached to a power source. It would simply run off the iPhone's battery. Uh, but the best thing to do is keep this plugged in at all times so you're charging your iPhone and powering the screen at the same time. Otherwise, uh, over hours of use, you can imagine this running out and your phone not working. So you want to make sure this is plugged in at all times. Now I just want to test the speaker performance through the dock. Again, they say that the dock itself boosts speaker performance by two and a half times. So we're going to play some cold play. I'm going to slide it in. Now indeed, you can hear the speaker through the dock. It sounds uh, just fine. It sounds as if the phone wasn't in the dock at all. So I guess it does help. I'm not sure if it boosts his performance or not, but it works pretty well. Of course, you can use the ambient app while you're playing music. So let's launch the app. So there you go, you have some cold play or music, whatever you decide to play with your ambient light. Now you can sync with this dock. I have it plugged into my iMac right now and I have the app running. So what will happen when you drop the iPhone in, it will first go to the sync screen. So of course you'll lose your ambient lighting effect. 
Now if you could see the screen right now, you would see the green battery icon and the sync icon. Once it's done syncing, it goes right back to the app. Now the dock says it fits the original iPhone as well, so I'm just going to drop that in to test that out. And there it goes, it fits just fine. It will also fit the iPhone 3G and 3GS. This is a 3GS. And yep, it fits just fine. Now I find it also fits the iPod touches, but it is a little harder to get them in there. This is really designed for the thickness of the iPhone uh, from the first generation to the current generation. Uh, and since the iPod touch is quite a bit thinner, it's a little harder to aim this onto the dock. But if you're, if you're determined and don't mind it, you can certainly get this to work with the iPod Touch as well. Of course, the product doesn't necessarily say it works with the iPod. It just works with the iPhone. Uh, but if you run the app on the iPod Touch, it works just the same. Now, Yen Touch largely sees this as a platform for further app development. So you can imagine weather apps or stock apps or even messaging apps that uh, use the color ambient feature to uh, keep the user informed on certain things. So for example, if it's getting cold outside, it could change to blue. Or if, if the stock market is dipping, it could change to red. Or if you have a contact trying to reach you, it might strobe a certain pattern or color. Uh, and that way you know visually from a distance what's going on. Alrighty, YouTube, this is Detroit Board with the Black Diamond by Yan Touched. Thanks for watching.